What's, what's the governor's name? What's the mayor's name? What is the lawyer's name? What is the doctor's name? What is the state's name? What is the hospital's name? What is the virus's name? What is the country's name? What is the county name? What is the state border's name? What is the speech therapist's name? What is the computer's name? What is the synthesizer's name? What is the background noise name? What is the bed frame name? What is the Walmart name? What is the SUV name? What is the equalizer name? What is the backwards? Basically all at once I realized everybody started calling it Do the Live and Learn. You know, like you see like a viral dance or something and everyone's like, do this, you know, do that. And then when you start, you know, calling people and they'd answer the phone and they'd say, oh, did you do the live and learn? And I'd say, um, come again. And they'd say, did you do the live and learn? And I'd say, yeah, you know, I'm going to have to be thinking on my toes immediately and just say, yes, yes, I did. And they go, okay, you know, in order to know it, to confront you, say, now explain that to me. So I go immediately, okay, yes, to answer your question, I did the live and learn. And after that, these are the results. I don't have the time to go back and say, let me walk you through the steps of that. You know, if you're already confronting me with something like that in a sort of kind of weird way, then you can basically say, yeah, here's the results of doing it. I did the live and learn, therefore, I show you now what I did. Basically comparing stuff that I was doing in one place to another, including, you know, planning and someone I was home telling my friend on the phone about that day, um, <laughs> said, it makes a lot of sense to me. And um, I said, okay. Um, and um, I live and learn with it. And they said, do the live and learn. Do the Macarena on stage at six years old. Do the Macarena on stage with ten of, four of them. The four of the most handsome ones on stage. And the voice coach is there doing weird stuff. You can't forget something like that. I won't. I won't. <laughs>
was that band from my hometown saying, there's a guy on TV's name. Collapsing on TV is so fun to do. I recommend falling if I fall with you. I stand in the camera, the lens opens wide. I stare in it deeply, I'm going inside. I rush through the cables, the XLR flames. I'm fighting the urge to call you your name. On TV they warn me, don't curse if you like. I'd never do something to cause you a fright. I'm running and walking through the optical fibers. The TV, it buffers and everyone goes loud. There's millions on the Come join me tonight. I'm holding your hand in my mind, alright. We're loving together through your TV screen. We're holding our child. It's not just a dream. We're making it real on prime time tonight. I can't really focus. I'd rather just die. Do you mean it? Oh no. Do you mean it? Oh no. Do you mean it? Oh no. Do you mean it? Oh, no. Do you mean it? Do you mean it? Do you mean it? Do you mean it? Do you mean it?
say something like, you can't make that shit up. And it's so weird because you literally, you literally can. You can make it up. You can get on the, behind everything and you can stand there and you can say, yes, yes, yes. And then everybody they go and they learn listening. And they go, okay, I'm gonna go now to take this home with me. And then I go, think, think, think. And they go, okay, that was something that they made up. And then I go to be thinking. And they go, you can't make that shit up. But at the same time, when you go to be thinking, you say, aha. Aha moment. That's what they mean when they say you can make that shit up. Just 
to me but at the same time like I'd like to have a drink with you and maybe we could kind of get into this a little bit uh, outside inside analog digital basically like a sort of hand in hand way um, it's just kind of weird and everybody's like you know Okay, let me show you my system. Let me show you your system. But in the time of the inside, you're like, yeah, I'll, I'll see it from a different vantage point. Like, I'll stay on my porch to see it, as opposed to walk with me. You know, there's times people say figuratively, arm in arm, we trot along. Arm in arm, we reach, we reach our highest self. Um, but those are also the people that say, you know, I want you to drink this alcohol at the bar. I want you to go outside with me tonight in a time where, okay, for one, I have not drank for 50 years. And for two, that kind of argument is so archaic that it's like, you know, I don't want to be offensive and stuff, but it's like, okay, like, believable, yes, um, tolerable, certainly not. What is the strong symptoms, arguments and like the previous stuff were just like kind of nonsense, you know, um, making sense in a way but also distracting you from stuff like the two up there and they go, wear my mask, wear my mask, where is my mask, language deconstructed, digitized and then rebuffered into something a little more... It does go back to the analog. In a super... Super weird way. Um, sometimes there's just no good way of knowing how to respond to a situation, or even how to, like, really fully prepare for one. Sometimes things are just so wildly unhinged. 
So you're just kind of like in this constant grasping for straws sort of uh, mindset. Um, anyway, not to even make this like a lecture sort of reflection journal style or whatever, it's just kind of like you think about all the ways you can approach something. And like it was before, you're never going to know how it works until you like, write it, think it, or just mostly portray it. Television, audio, radio, and just the way it exists to that is what's so great. There's just no, there's no way I can do that thing. So, like, everybody on the same time just going online and just saying, like, my turn to have some sort of um, It's basically a flood of ideas. Unfortunately, everybody's kind of just This is a presentation on the history of industrial music, and it's going to focus on a lot of different groups um, and stuff that I've been kind of was researching over about 
is being kind of interested in it and um so the first part if you can see it is in I like Skinny Puppy. I've been to the concerts, nothing beats the Hotel Clubs. When I'm in Salt Lake City, and it's nice to have darkness, take the land every so often. And the second comment I got is, most underrated song on the album, pretty unknown, like the fact that FEMA camps have been built by the government since 1987 under Ronald Reagan. And now we've got a president who claims to support Ronald Reagan's policies. We've got big problems right now. 9-11, Hillary Clinton, 2020. Um, as an introduction, skinny puppy. Um, the first thing is really weird, and it's the targeting of industrial art and artists online. And has there has been a screenshot here of a kind of um, psychological attack on Facebook called the 12890032 research study, and it was in a over and over and over again put on my wall and um, people sharing it in the comments saying like I know I'm one and stuff all like that and kind of disturbing that it definitely was targeting um, industrial artists losing control of your thoughts click here to learn more um, so there's always been a weird people that do, do um, industrial music um, anyway the second part is collaborating and there has been some, you can see a screenshot of myself and my friend Devin here a couple years ago before we did uh, some stuff and always working on uh, different ideas, visual stuff, and audio. Industrial artists kind of do audio visual. And it has been started, it has been doing that for many, many years, including bands like SPK. The most interesting part during the periods where people think that industrial is all about um, control, drug use, is industrial culture ties with false flags by FDA, government organization, about Kratom. And this has been a come a really big deal for people that are, you know, do <sighs> there are performers and industrial artists identifying as such. Here's a tag from Philly Kratom and the use of online presence to explain why the FDA is doing this. Two main parts are efficacy and the use of extreme sound and fashion wear both of which people that would be knowing the history of industrial music would maybe know a little bit but in the way of the history two major points of that um to come back to the idea of the fda false flags would be um the going of canceling Kratom and then saying now unregulated weird because I do know have known some industrial artists to use it and so unfortunately abuse it but it's kind of maybe always been there confusion and uh, to go along with this system there's been the use of online streaming which in 2018, there was a per performance in Salem, Oregon that went live. The use of live streaming and internet humiliation in re relation to the history of industrial music. Here's a video of myself performing and they're the biggest sound system in the little tiniest little basement. And they did it live and they said, okay this is painful i guess i know the answer to if i still want to check out this venue i've always wanted to check it out but not quite sure what is happening this is the most upsetting part to go back to the history of fda and stuff looks like a dude on drugs wrong and wrong a little more complicated than that my friend or my foe um 
the kind of history and ties with that is the use of confusion in industrial and the way in which um, industrial is used as the extreme sound Genesis Briar Peel Orridge and um, just being you know everything being kind of a little bit confusing but also responding to the confusion by the use of internet humiliation um, unfortunately on to the final bit the era of research. There will always be continuing education in this, and um, people are always learning more about it. As you can see in the clips here from uh, the Pick Your Side riots from Slab City, California, um, there's a large group of men and industrial artists and they can see they have bats, helmets, and some of them are have on an evil Knievel outfit. This has maybe been the most toxic part of the culture. And um, there will always be research and criticism is always welcome to any behavior. Um, industrial does not get a pass. Well, always be trying to understand it more and do a good job of putting it as everything out there and that is the f the presentation for the history of industrial music and the music before it was maybe that and it could be something you know not that as well um, thank you